Hey Pandalings, this is the Black Belt Panda and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to build a Greek bedroom. Alright, so we're here on Tutorial Island in front of the Greek bathroom that we made and we're going to go ahead and try to cover up just a little bit of this um, so to do that we're just going to make two layers of quartz blocks all the way around just be careful around areas where there's redstone we don't want to put a quartz block right here for example because that would block the redstone and uh, you just want to make it two layers tall and go over the whole thing so I'll be back once I have that done Okay, I just wanted to show you what I meant here. You can see how I can't place any blocks in here because of the redstone, but instead the second layer is getting placed on top of those blocks. So I'm just going to finish this up off camera. Okay, now that we've got that done, we can start working on the layout for the bedroom. Now since we're going to be turning this into a house in the end, and we want all these rooms to work together nicely, um, I've already pre-planned a specific layout for the bedroom, and I'm going to walk you through that right now. So what we want to do is place a block. If you count one, two, three, and the third block in, just like that. And then we want five blocks coming out from that. So one, two, three, four, five, and then eight across. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can come back in. Two, three, four. So here we want 13 blocks wide. Now we've already got six, so we'll count from there. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we wanna go across 19 blocks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 blocks there. And eight across this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 this way. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it should match up perfectly, just like that. So that's our basic layout. Uh, this part here is going to be our floor. So what we want to do is extend out to create a floor underneath, just like this. And just do that for this part and the other part that's sticking out. Okay, you should have something that looks like this when you're done. We want these walls to be five blocks high. So two, three, four, five, and just do that all the way around. Okay, so we've got the walls up. Now we're just gonna put the ceiling in. So just fill in this whole top row. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back once I have that done. Okay, so we've got a ceiling. I just left a few holes just for some light so we can see okay inside of here. Next thing we're going to do is grab pillar quartz blocks. We're going to replace this corner here with pillars. And then we're going to count in here to the third block. And just go ahead and make pillar there and make a pillar right there. And then we can connect them across the top. Alright, and that'll be our room separator. So the bedroom uh, sleeping area would be here, and the bedroom lounge area will be over here. Okay, so to start the bedroom off, we're going to, of course, make a bed. So just make a double bed with a space between the bed and the wall. And then we're going to grab some nether brick stairs and some slabs. Actually, we're going to start with the, the nether brick blocks. Put one in each corner. Just like that. Slabs along these sides here. And then slabs there. Grab your stairs. Put one on top of that slab. And one on top of that slab. Just like that. And then we're going to replace the blocks underneath here with red wool. Like that. Grab some nether brick fences and go all the way up to the ceiling and then frame the bed just like that all the way around. 
grab some red wool, fill in the top, and then put some down the sides here and down the sides here, and that creates a little bit of a canopy sort of look to it. I'm going to use anvils as night tables, bedside tables, whatever you want to call them. Put some glowstone on top to act as a lamp. Do that on both sides. And now we need trap doors. Here they are. Just help cover up that glowstone a little bit. And put some on top too. There we go. Nice little lamps. All right. Now we're going to extend this red wool and make a sort of carpet rug thing by placing it just around the bed like that. Bring it back one more. There we go. It's pretty good. And we're going to make some plants. So we're going to use the anvils as the stands. And then just put some leaves all the way up to the top. We're going to do the same on the other side. Pretty cool. And we can block this up now that we have some light in here. Very nice. And then a couple of, not trap chests, a couple of regular chests at the foot of the bed. There we go. Very nice bed. Um, let's see. Ah, Door will be right here when we get the second floor put in. So you can just leave a spot for a door there. So yeah, let's start working on the lounge. Alright, we're going to start with a nice little sofa by making, I guess kind of like a, a quartz sofa there. White sofa. Oh, put item frames on the side, not the front. Then we can put some red wool in the item frames, just kind of look like uh, decorations on the side of the chair. Um, the theme of the room here, the color theme is definitely going to be red. The whole house is pretty much white. Uh, but I like to go with a different color for each room. The bathroom was all white. And the uh, bedroom is going to have nice highlights of red. And uh, we want to basically fill in this wall here with blocks of quartz. Um, this wall is going to actually be a closet. but So it doesn't look funny. We have to even the whole thing out. Just like that. Now we can put another lamp over here. There we go. And some red wool for a rug carpet thing. And we're going to go out three blocks from the sofa. Like that. And our see, do we want it here? Closet, the closet, the closet. Closet needs to be right here. So we're just going to punch out a 2x2 two two spot, just like that. A couple of chests on the bottom. And then a couple of trap doors on top. And then just go ahead and grab some wooden doors. And stand right up against the chest facing that way. Place a door place a door. Now we got a little closet. Put some item frames in there. We can stick some swords or something on those later. And uh, very nice. Okay, so we want to actually cover this wall here as well. And we're just going to leave a single hole right there. I'm going to put glowstone and then an item frame. And then we're going to punch out the floor right along here and drop it down by one. And then you can go ahead and just even it out so it doesn't look funny when we go to uh, finish up the house. Very simple. I'm going to hop back in there. Luckily, I have holes in the roof. Haha. <laughs> Alright. And then we're going to 
run some leaves across here. Red wool there, and red wool there. And then go ahead and grab any decoration you want. I'm using a creeper head, but you can use whatever you think looks nice. Stick it in the item frame, just because. And we need a bucket of water, and we'll put that in there, and it'll start pouring out. Pretty cool. All right, and then the next thing we want is vines, and we're going to just go across the top here, like that. Then grab flower pot and some roses to stick along with that red theme that we've got going on. All right, pretty cool. Probably block this up now, and probably this one as well. We'll go ahead and put the door on the wall right there so we can get rid of the door now. And we need to grab a hopper. And we also need some iron bars. We're going to, let's see, in the center from the sofa here. So right here, put a piece of glowstone. One iron bar and one hopper creates a little chandelier. Three hoppers. And a weighted pressure plate. Creates a nice coffee table. And then we want a chair here. So we're going to use item frames on the back and the sides. With red wool on the sides. And a hopper. No, not a hopper. We want a fence and a pressure plate for a table and then we can go ahead and add in a little rug going around it just like that okay looks pretty good alright now for some more decorating we're going to go ahead and just stick some swords onto these item frames here rotate that one just looks nice. I think so anyway. And then a couple of item frames behind the bed here with a couple of roses in them. Looks nice. And then some paintings. Just in some uh, nice spots. Did I use that one? Yeah. There we go. A wither. Withers are cool. Uh see just want a single there we go single one there try to get a single one here too why do I keep getting the same ones you need to be able to choose what painting you want to put up on the wall that'd be very beneficial there we go and matching one over here there we go very nice all right I like that looks good we got light we got closet, chair, sofa with coffee table, some nice red rugs, bushes, <laughs> well, plants of some sort anyway, and bed, always important, more storage. All right, looks pretty good. I like it. So that's pretty much it for the bedroom. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like the video, definitely click that like button. And we're going to continue working on making this very nice looking house. So that's obviously the second floor. There's that creepy noise. It means there's an unlit area nearby. A lot of people have been asking me what that noise is. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much just means there's an unlit area. Usually a cave underground or something nearby. I think it's within the same chunk or something like that. But uh, we're definitely going to continue along with making this awesome house. And I've already got the structure planned out. Um, so I'm building along with the structure that I have. Um, so we still got to do definitely a kitchen um, and a few other rooms. I'm really not sure um, what other rooms might want. So if you have any suggestions for rooms, especially small ones, um, leave them in the comment section and I'll see what I can do about those. Did we patch up all the holes? Yes, we did. Awesome. And uh, eventually we'll have a really nice looking Greek house. So... Once again, thanks for watching. This is the Black Belt Panda, and I will see you in the next video.